Hello, my fellow cigar smokers, and welcome to Smokers Bud. We are doing another review, and today it is the True Estate Liga Unico Bauhaus. Let's see how it tastes. So guys, the new True Estate Liga Unico this time, Bauhaus. Let me talk a little bit more about what Bauhaus means. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a German name and it has a special meaning. Uh, and a little bit about the Liga Unico series uh, by True Estate. But first things first, uh, before we get this thing started, um, I think technically it's a short Robusto. Um, it is 4.5 inches long and uh, has a ring gauge of 50. So, short Robusto. Not really my Vitola usually. Um, because as you know, I like a little bit more the the sticks with a bigger ring gauge but um, I was always impressed by um, especially um, sticks that are in the Liga Privada series by True Estate and uh, but the Liga Unico series is they're doing fantastic cigars as well I hope <laughs> what's this one let's see Let's get this thing started. Today, a V cut. Oh, cold draw is interesting. Mm. Coffee? And mm, <laughs> coffee mm, and something really not spicy, that's the wrong word. Uh, oh, like a very intense dark espresso. Coffee, espresso like, hard to put the fingers on. Let's see what develops when we're smoking it. But just, well, frankly, almost nothing. Maybe something barn, like a barn aroma, flavor, whatever. I don't know. That's kind of tricky with this one. Fire! So, um, the Liga Unico, uh, it's more or less, to be frank, uh, it's a series that, uh, or all cigars in the Liga Unico series were usually meant to be in the uh, Liga Privada series. But after testing and trying uh, several sticks out and so on and so on, it came clear, uh, uh, obvious, that cigars that they were testing then, uh, they had the materials for it or enough uh, to put it in the Liga Privada series. So, we all know that uh, I think I was talking in the Liga Privada number nine review about it, that sometimes they are kind of rare, you know. Uh, but of course, it's one of the regular series of True Estate. Um, 
and the Liga Unico uh, even more rare uh, because they are using tobacco in there that's not always available and so on and so on and at a specific point they figured okay we don't have enough tobacco in order to put this series this cigar in uh, we cannot produce enough quantity in order to put it out as a regular series um, so in that sense the Liga Unico uh, and it always has a I don't want to say like a weird plant but um, as you can see here uh, or I'm telling you it's uh, a wild mix it has a US Connecticut Proat Leaf as a wrapper the binder uh, is in Brazilian Matafina um, and the filler is coming uh, the filler is coming from Honduras and Nicaragua not quite sure uh, what tobacco specifically and of course it's made in the uh, La Gran Fabrica True Estate Wow very heavy smoke strong cigar the, these coffee dark espresso flavors man they are there holy shit mm. together with a nutty flavor hint of pepper but very subtle draws absolutely effortless that that's you know sometimes you're smoking a cigar and even after the first few puffs you figure that's a great cigar and this one started fantastic really uh, let me see the price well man as usually you know uh, Liga Privada are already kind of expensive and that's the same with the Liga Unico series. Um, this stick here costs 18 euros that around 20 bucks and it's coming in boxes of 12 so the box costs you a little bit more than 200 euros so probably around 220 dollars if you can get a box at all. very complex really very complex so it's definitely not a cigar for beginners um, I guess because you know sometimes we have the discussion that let's put it the other way around <clears throat> was talking with one of my buddies um, I think the last time when we were doing one of our German podcast uh, um, episode and then we were talking about what are good sticks for beginners you know if you're starting your smoking experience your journey your adventure whatever what is a good cigar to start with you know mm. and my example was like okay take a very take a very simple and mild cigar you know like the Santa Damiana for example uh, and I really thought that's a good start you know I still think it's a good start frankly but of course different folks different opinions he had something uh, had another opinion about that and he said well I would start with a really good Cuban stick you know uh, why I mean so more or less I don't want to bore you about the details <laughs> there but he said like why not starting with a very very good cigar I don't think that people are overwhelmed by it you know um, man, I don't know you know um, I just I just 
think that it's uh, for for beginners it's a good thing to start just with a simple cigar you know so that you're not like uh, when all these aroma flavors um, flooding in and then if it's if the, the cigar is too strong you you kind of feeling sick after it and then after that you think okay cigars are not for me just because you picked the wrong cigar you know so I'm always saying take a take a simple and mild cigar and if you like everything around it go a step further and figure out other things you know but guys you know how it is uh, like I said different folks different opinions you know um, let me know what you think uh, what is a good what is a good cigar to uh, for for a beginner guys but we wanted to talk about the uh, true estate Liga Unico Bauhaus so I would say it's, it's a fantastic start let's see how it develops So guys, back with our uh, True Estate Liga Privada. <laughs> oh, not Liga Privada, Liga Unico. God damn it, uh, Bauhaus. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, what a fantastic cigar! Uh, unfortunately, man, the ash just dropped, and it was my fucking fault because. <laughs> uh, I tried to make a little video of it that I can plant in later to show you the fantastic ash but then I wanted to be a little bit more to you know I was putting it uh, here on the table on my cutter and then I bumped against the table uh, with my belly uh, which is obviously a little bit too big <laughs> and then the cigar was rolling down and the ash dropped and I was like Jesus Christ anyways um, but fortunately, in the time lapse, I was playing around, making some uh, uh, nice, uh, trying to to uh, show it in the camera, and then I, I captured it over there, uh, so you get a good look at the uh, at the very fantastic ash. We're now in the entering the the last third. Don't know what to say guys that's one of the cigars where i wished it would be a little bit bigger but we have to live with the short robusto because that's the only vitola that's out there um but wow this this dark intense espresso flavor is always there um stepping up a little bit then in the in the second third it was a little bit uh more subtle but always there a little bit of sweetness um, kicked in I think also at the end of the first third or so and it was also there all the time uh, the um, very strong cigar really uh, strong nicotine and all the, on all the other flavors combined it's a really uh, heavy-bodied cigar um, full-bodied cigar Um, full-bodied cigar. Troll was always really effortless and exact the the the, um, the level of of resistance I like in a draw. Absolutely perfect, you know. Um, as I said, burn and ash, great. So there's really hard to find any point where you where 
that you could say mm, not so good it's just maybe the price no but that's all uh, wonderful after the last couple of i think the last two reviews or so i did there were just not very good cigars uh, and that's the way it is so it's great to have a good one for a review again okay, let's talk a little bit about bauhaus here that's the logo that's a bauhaus logo uh, but you probably you probably never saw it in your life um, only chances when you were like really into architecture design or something then you probably know that logo and maybe it looks like a five-year-old was drawing some weird lines but <laughs> it actually makes some sense and even if you're not heard about Bauhaus the chances are really high that things that you are using or have in your in your living room your bedroom wherever uh, are highly influenced by Bauhaus so what is Bauhaus Bauhaus is a German art and design school that was founded in 1919 in Weimar um, and it was operational uh, I don't know in three different cities Weimar Dessau and uh, Berlin until the 30s 40s not quite sure but uh, numbers numbers um, and a lot of a lot of modern modern artists like Kandinsky was uh, uh, they uh, was the staff in the in the Bauhaus uh, design and art school uh, and nowadays there is the uh, one of the original Bauhaus buildings are still there in Dessau and it is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So, so what is it all about? Other than it's a, a, a art and design school, it's it's trying to combine um, everyday functions and an individualistic artistic style. You know, I'm not a designer. I'm not. An, I'm not an an art architect. Whatever. So I cannot give you a very good explanation about it. What it is. Uh, that's more or less all I know <laughs> but if you're really interested Wikipedia is your friend or Google is your friend oh you can figure it out yourself so not quite sure why true estate decided to name this one Bauhaus just to pay tribute to Bauhaus maybe one of the uh, master planners or guys who's in charge or a fan of it so anyhow I really like it uh, and I think it's an not quite sure if that stick is at all available outside of Europe um, but if not you guys have a lot of fantastic cigars and since you know uh, we are all like globalization is you can you can shop wherever you want you know <laughs> good cigar Really, not, don't know what to say about it. It's just a cigar where I only bought like two or three. And during the time lapse, I was looking here at a few of my favorite online shops, and they are still there, but kind of rare. So I definitely will like buy two or three boxes just to keep it here and uh, have it available when I want to smoke one. It's probably not a very good starter, also, I really prefer like short sticks as a starter remember uh, the the Cuban Cato say number 50 it's one of my favorite starters or the age up in number two also that's a little bit bigger um, so the size would say yes it's a good starter the strength strength wise and complexity no probably not a very good starter um, and for like an everyday smoke it's too special I think but I'm sure it will find a way into my, um, let's say, portfolio of cigars. It's really good, really, really good. And um, I wonder how it will age, you know. I mean, chances are high, you know, if you have a very strong cigar and full-bodied cigar that is getting a little bit more decent over the years, you know. Uh, but I guess we will figure that out.
cool, guys. That's it. Enjoy life. Enjoy your good cigar. If you get a chance to buy this uh, True Estate Liga Unico Bauhaus, go and get it. Guys, really great cigar. Um, other than that, stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope to see you around at Smoker Spot. Cheers.